Good morning, sisters and brothers, to those who are here and to those who are joining us via live stream. Perhaps one of the most beautiful human experiences is to love and to take good care of the people we love. You know, when you take good care of the people you love, when you help those you love, when you support those you love, you don't grow, you don't grow tired. You don't feel pressured. Because that is what love is all about. But what about if the people you love, you cannot take good care of them for whatever reason? Remember the pandemic, those who are in quarantine that we love, we want to serve and to take good care of them. But we cannot just do it. Those people who are far from us, we want to embrace them, to help them. And yet we cannot just do it. That awkward feeling when we cannot love, we cannot take good care, we cannot help, we cannot support the people we love. I'm telling this precisely, I want to penetrate the feeling of St. Paul in the first reading of the day. St. Paul who loved the community in Ephesus. In fact, in the first reading of today, he showed them his hands na nagkakalyo na. Sapagkat, sabi niya, I work hard for you, my dear people in Ephesus. Day and night, I work for you because I love you. But this time, I am living. Aalis na siya. And it was a very emotional speech of St. Paul to the presbyters of Ephesus. Ngayong aalis na ako, it breaks my heart. Because I cannot take good care of you anymore. And so he said these words, Take good care of one another. Because I cannot be there. Be on guard of the wolves that would want to prey the whole flock. But also be careful. But there will be, because there will be people not only outside of this group, but within your group who will deceive each one of you. I, I will be helpless. But at the end of the reading, it says in a very... St. Paul was crying because of his farewell to the community he loved and said this, I surrender you to the Lord. In moments when we cannot do anything to people we love, in moments that we are helpless to people we love, in moments in those awkward moments, that we want to take good care of them, yet we cannot just do it. This moment of lull, the gap, the space in between, which we could not bridge, it's a moment of faith and asking the Lord to do something in our behalf. And if God will do something in our behalf, He can do greater things. In the gospel of today, it's the same feeling of Jesus. Jesus knows that he's going to be separated from his people he loves. That's why the whole chapter 17 of the gospel of St. John is a prayer. It's the prayer of Jesus surrendering to the Father, the people he loves. And only asking the Father, Lord, please take good care and protect the people I have offered my life. I protected them. I never lose anyone except the son of destruction. Please take good care of them. You know, I remember when we were still in the seminary, we had a formator that every time a seminarian would leave the seminary, he would cry. 
in silence, privately. But we know it among us seminarians. And when I became a priest, I never got to ask the question why he would cry. And when I, when I was already a priest and I had the courage to talk to this formator, why would it break his heart every time he would hear a seminarian living the seminary? And he had this confession, Aris, I've always believed that everyone who is in the seminary has a call. And every time I see them, every time I prepare my lesson, every time I am doing my best as a formator, I put all the efforts hoping that these seminarians would become priests. And when I hear one leaves the seminary, it breaks my heart because it gives me a kind of a feeling that I could no longer take good care of this young man and bring him to the altar of the Lord. And yet, after the crying, after the losing of human emotions, I lift, I surrender to God to take good care of that man. In moments when we cannot do anything to our loved ones, never underestimate the power of prayer. For when we pray and we are helpless, God can do much better things in our behalf. Amen.